I've just had a little, well, on Saturday I had a delivery of some sublimation blanks, so I want to show you those in a minute. Um, I'm busy printing up a new bag design for a gift for someone. Um, and what else have I got to do? Oh, I've got to think of a free gift to put in parcels for the next, for any orders placed in the next week. Um, I also need to set up a fan of the month um, um, program app app. Okay, I need to have a fan of the month app because I want to reward my fan uh, the people who have been. Um, it's a brain fog moment. Um, have been contributing on my page most, and I'd like to be able to send out a free gift every month to the top fan. Um, I've just received these and they are just gorgeous. I can't wait to, to have a go on them. So um, quite often I buy various different extra um, blanks to print on. Sorry, my hair is still wet so it looks a bit bleh. Um And this is a little notebook. It's A6 and it's got a linen effect on it and I can print on that. So it's basically a book cover. You can see, I can, I can take the book out. Oh my gosh. The inside is adorable. Look at that. Do you know, it didn't even say it had any patterns on inside. It's even got squared sections. What else has it got? do sort of trackers if you want to this is completely amazing look at this little cactus there's some really cute little illustrations in it i i honestly i had no idea i thought it was blank so these are monthly layouts by the looks of it and you can mark which month it is up there it's left um it's left blank because obviously you know, you, you can start it whenever you want to. And there. One, two, three, four, five. They also think it's it's a half year. So it's a six month planner system. Wow. And then these are your week ones. Sorry, you're back to front because it's, uh, uh, I've got it on selfie mode. But um, you've got to-do lists, you've got each day of the week, space for you to put the uh, date, and then you've got space for you to write all your lists. I'm really impressed. Wow. And then about halfway through, you see the, the edge of the pages change, can you see? About halfway through, you've got um, a section that just says date and date, and you've got this gridded section, you've got plain section and notes at the bottom. So that would be where you could put your, um, if you bullet journal that is, you put things like your lists or your ideas, or um, and personally, I would give over the first three pages, maybe four pages to be your contents. Um, and I would number all the pages so you know. And then after that section is memos and notes, and that's got the uh, cacti on. Um, and it says memos and notes at the top, not that you can see it, because back to front. It even has a ribbon. Gosh, that is amazing. And then once you finish with it, you can get rid of the book or store it and put another A6 notebook in it such a good idea I've got three of those can't wait to be printing those um, I also got these are brand new if I can get in a packet I thought they might be fun for kids these are little mirrors so there's a you print on all of that and then you stick the mirror in the middle Hello, <laughs> and I've got um, two flowers to test on, and two butterflies. Um, what 
think they're rather sweet. So we'll, we'll see. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put on those yet. I mean, the butterflies will probably turn into a big butterfly, but it's going to take a lot of thinking. <coughs> Sorry. I also have some new puzzle boards. These are a fun shape, and on the back, they've got a stand, so you can stand them up. So once you've done the puzzle, beep beep, um, it can then become a picture frame. I've got three of those. Um, and it's got a slightly, I don't expect you can see it, but it's got a slightly glittery finish. And they are really lovely, actually, when they're, when they're printed on. The quality is lovely when it's got this glitter finish on. I would say that it doesn't look as though it's going to be that easy for a young person to do. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's got 63 pieces in, which is quite a lot. And if you look at them, they are quite small. So uh, I wouldn't put a young design on here because I think, you know, really the, the pieces are quite small and fiddly. You would need quite a clear design. Sometimes you don't know this until you get them. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what that one is like. I also have... Now this is just a little bit bigger than I was expecting as well. But that's just, you know, visualising measurements sometimes is a bit of a nightmare. But I got a bag for going to the gym in. I will move back one sec. To be honest, it's like an overnight bag. I'm not sure this is much use as a gym bag. It is really big. Um, and I, I print on this bit. So this bit is removable, so I print on this. But it does mean that there's a pocket at the front. Let's just see inside. It's, it's quite a good... It's padded. It would be a good holiday bag, actually. It's got a nice strap for going over the shoulder with a padded section, so that's good. Internal pocket. It's like Mary Poppins bag, this thing. It's huge! Okay, so um, I've got that to do as well. And um, a clock. I haven't ordered a clock. I, I already have a clock. I really need a clock in my new workspace. And I've decided to do a clock with guinea pigs running all around here. So, uh, fingers crossed, that works out nice. I've got to go to the post office. Um, yeah, there's probably loads of other things as well, but, you know, that's it for the minute. All right, I better get on with it.
signing off for this week, but before I do, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I managed to make, um, which have proved pretty popular actually. So, um, hey, um, I'm just going to turn you around if I can. Hang on a sec. Okay, so, sorry, the lights are in the way. This is my guinea pig clock, and I can't get rid of the shine, I'm afraid, because it's all printed on the reverse of the glass. But you can see I've created all these little guinea pig icons. So there's um, a water bottle, guinea pig, hutch, and little paws, and a carrot. I did have broccoli on the first one, but I didn't like the broccoli. I also had celery, but it was really, really bad. So um, that's my clock, and um, these are all images of uh, my friend Jane, who runs the um, craft clearance uh, group. These are a picture of all her guinea pigs, and apparently this one here is called Jenny. So at, when it's time to go pick up my kids, it's nearly Jenny o'clock. I see, I love that. So um, next up we have my hedgehog clock. There was a bit of a, uh, a mistake here, so um, I'm selling this one cheap. If anyone wants it, uh, do let me know. But it's got two little hedgehogs facing each other, which is rather cute. And um, I drew all the little leaf icons. If it'll zoom. There you go. That's so sweet. Then we've got um, this chicken clock, which is a commission as well. And the little icons I've done have got a little hen house, eggs, wheat, uh, or straw, or whatever that is, um, chickens. And what I did was I did it on a rainbow background. So uh, there's a, it's very, very colourful. This is for a child. So uh, it's really fun. I love that. Um, I also did some notebooks, so bear with me a sec. So I did this notebook, which has been up on my uh, website. It's, uh, at last I had a successful go of it. Oh, there you go. Um, and this one is a week to view. I love these. I can use um, Happy Planner stickers, Carpe Diem stickers. It's really, really um, useful layout. And um, other than bullet journaling, I really like this. So uh, that's quite a good way to do. And I love the fabric. So this one is for me. Oh, it's got hedgehogs and foxes on. My favourite. Uh, this one I showed you in the last one. And hang on a minute. I also have this little one, which is in the same fabric as my planner and my pencil pouch. It was just like a little scrap of fabric left over. It's got the elastic on. And this is a month to view that I haven't filled in yet. But this one is to go in my bag because um, it's quite handy to have something quite little. And I found my um, Gendori a bit big to fit in my handbag. So uh, this is my little little diary for taking around with me. Um, and I think that's possibly about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. I have uploaded a load of things onto the website, www.genesis.uk. Um, so we have all the new notebooks are on there. And there's also a link so you can choose all the fabric that you want for whichever notebook you decide to have. So there's a little look at, there's the fabric. Um, so all you need to do is follow the link, choose the fabric that you want, and I can make you a gorgeous little notebook like this. So A5, A6, I can do anything inside as well. So um, that's quite handy. And they're, um, they're bound, I don't know if you can see. So they've been stitch bound. Uh, I'm going to experiment with coloured threads today, which will be fun. Um, but you'll see that in next week's one. Um, Oh, I think I've had enough for one day. <laughs> you see me packing orders. Um, I've done a lot of working this week, but not a lot of videoing. So I'm sorry if there's not anything hugely exciting. I have been working on an experiment for a, um, a lovely viewer. And I will show you the results of that next week. Um, she wanted to see what it would be like to have wedding 
cards in a book and she wanted to know if there was a tutorial or some way that I could show how to do that without her having to um, sort of farm her, send her cards out and get it made for her, um, which I think was a super idea. So I've been experimenting with bookmaking um, for that. So I will hopefully, fingers crossed, do a tutorial next week about that. Um, I've also got some more gorgeous fabric. I really need to make more things with the fabric because it's so nice. Um, so I think I will see you next week. All right. <laughs> Have a super weekend or week or wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Have fun. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Please do leave me a comment so I know that I'm not talking to myself. Um, although, you know, I, I know I get lots of views, but it would be nice to have chats as well. Um, and if you want to check out my website, it's www.genesis.uk. Um, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, although I'm not very active on those two, just I um, tend to be more active on Facebook. All right, so uh, till we see you again. Bye.